In this video, I'll talk about the polynomial regression. We have uh, seen how the linear regression line look like in the uh, previous uh, videos. We can have instances where the data points are not linear in nature. When I say linear, it means that they do not lie in the uh, straight line fashion. You can see on the screen that the data points, the crosses at the data points, they are somewhat quadratic in nature or curvilinear in nature. That means you cannot fit a linear regression line to this uh, set of data points. Because if you, if you look at it carefully, you will find that uh, these data points are not lying on a straight line. Uh, the data points goes up, then then goes down, right? So it's not straight line. The first, I have tried to fit a straight line here, and you can see it doesn't fit the data. There are so many data points that uh, are very far away from the line. In such scenarios, we need to uh, use the polynomial regression instead of the linear regression. The difference between linear and polynomial is that there is uh, the uh, degree of your input variable uh, should be more than or equal to 2. In the example here is a regression between price and size of the house. We will continue with the same example. We are predicting the uh, price of the house based on the size of the house. Okay, Input variable is size. So in polynomial regression we will have this input variable uh, degree. Degree is nothing but the power, right? The power of this input variable more than or equal to 2. If you look at here in the right hand side, the first equation or the first hypothesis is the hypothesis for the regression line, linear regression line. Okay, it doesn't fit well. So, what we have done is that we have added another term. Okay, so theta 2 is the third parameter here. And the input variable is square of the size. Instead of size, we have also used the square of the size. And a square is a quadratic uh, form. So when you fit it, you can see the curve, right? The curve on the uh, screen. It fits the line better than the regression line. I mean, if you draw a perpendicular here, So for this point, it's very close. Even for this point, it's very close. But if you draw the same line for the linear line, the distance is quite high, right? This is the distance. It's quite high. So in these cases, we use the uh, the polynomial regression. As I said, the input variable can take uh, any number of powers, like. It need not be just uh, size square. We can also add a third term here, size q, or we just we can just remove size square and then only uh, put size q here. Okay. So the common kind of uh, polynomial regression we do it with uh, size. Uh, I mean the input variable q, the square root of the input variable, the logarithm of input variable. You can also take the exponential of input variable. So this selection that what kind of transformation of the variable are we going to do is also known as feature selection. We can do it manually. There are also algorithms which will be covered uh, in a separate session um, which can tell you that uh, what is the best uh, selection or best feature selection that you can do out of your input variables and what are the transformation. Uh, that you are supposed to do. So uh, that's about polynomial regression. Just to do a, a recap, polynomial regression is a kind of regression where the regression line is not a straight line. It's not a straight line. So that's the criteria for uh, knowing that if a regression is polynomial or linear. 